Simon's alongside me and so many of you calling in 03717 Steve, first off, big Chelsea fan what's your take on this? Good morning Good morning, yeah, I just think it's a joke biggest joke going uh, the bowler's got no idea about running a football club in this country at all and I agree with Simon, it's a backward step um, Frank is not a Premier League uh, manager at all he, he should go down to the Championship and learn his trade properly um, and, and Simon's right he's, he's, he, weren't, he wasn't fit to go to Everton at all I like the guy I'm a diehard Chelsea fan but he's just not a premiership manager at all Is he not the guy though Steve that will pull Chelsea fans together that will get everybody singing from the same hymn sheet Yes the Chelsea fans he might pull together but he won't pull the team together he's got a pulling rate of, that's why Abramovich got rid of him because he weren't good enough in the second season and then really, Everton stayed up because Simon's right, because there's three teams below them that were, were, were worse than them. So, Steve, um, see, I, Steve, I see, I, go on. I also think if Potter had been uh, sacked probably 10 days or so ago, uh, they would probably took Tuchel back because that's the fans wanted Tuchel. Why would you get rid of Tuchel for Potter? I, I wouldn't have thought Todd Bowley and the rest would have Tuchel back, Steve. Steve, stay in the line because here's Jason, another Chelsea fan, who takes uh, a, another view to that. Jason, good morning. Good morning, yeah. I, I think that as he actually brought to Chelsea as a manager, not as a player, as a manager, one good season, which I appreciate because we had a transfer embargo, the second season we spent lots of money and we still didn't proceed with anything. I just think it's a massive step back and I just can't see as a Chelsea fan, yes, what it, to me it looks like it's more of a cover-up. Look, we've had a, you know, we've sacked two managers, the, the chairman's getting a bit of stick now, of it on, especially on social media, which you're going to get anyway, but now what's the best thing to do? Throw a legend back in the mix, get the fans back on track. It's not going to do the problem. The problem is we cannot score. And I think that is the biggest issue that we've got at the moment. I think Lampard, respect to the man, but I don't think it's a bit a good appointment at all. Stuart, here's a school of thought for you that just popped into my head as I'm thinking about this. The one thing Lampard was able to do was work with young players. Yes. What have you just gone and done over the last six months? You've bought a boatload yep. of young players that yep. are all at a certain age, all been stuck on long contracts... There might be just a moment in time while I'm trying to find an excuse for the Lampard uninspirational yeah. appointment, a, a circle being squared here where young players respond to Lampard because he's got that cachet and kudos of still being the player in their mind's eyes and did it previously with the development of some of the younger players that he brought through the, the, the ranks into the first team because he had an absence of choice because he couldn't buy players in his first stint.